Today on Optips, I'm going to do a walkthrough of an exercise which is in Python, Codecademy, list and functions, which I haven't touched yet. Uh, actually, yes, just kidding. I'm going to do lists in dictionaries, which I haven't touched yet. And what I found is that a lot of my friends who I have introduced to Codecademy, they love it, but they've been having trouble. Um, doing it very well. They, they have trouble understanding the instructions. So I'm trying to do a walkthrough and show you how my mental ex exercise goes through this, okay? Um, might have already done it, okay. So let's, a Python is just a sequence piece of information. Um, okay. Anyway, introduction to lists. Lists are data type that you can use to store a collection of different pieces of information as a sequence under single variable name. Data types you've already learned about include strings, number, and booleans. So, such as this, like zoo animals contains all three strings. So zoo, you can say, it's kind of like a vector that stores multiple information. You can assign items to a list with an expression from the list name equals to, you see here, one, two, or three. A list can also be empty, so if you had zoo underscore an animal equals to nothing in the answer, there will be an empty set. The list zoo animal has three items. Check them out on line one. Yes, I got these. And go ahead and add a fourth. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add a fourth. I really like whales. So I'm just going to add whales. Whale. Um, just enter the name of your favorite animal in the string. And on line one after the final comma, before the end, yeah, so I added a comma. Just want to make sure that's how it's separated. And here's a demo if you need any uh, hint, and then you just press run. If it's correct, it will let you go through to the next exercise. Access by index. You can access an individual item on the list by its index. An index is like an address that identifies items place in the list. The index appears directly after list name in between brackets like this. So what's it saying is that every uh, store, every um, you know string or number store in the vector in this variable, it has a corresponding index. So you can say it usually starts with zero. That's what it's trying to say here. It's not one. So uh, the index zero would correspond to five one would cor correspond to six. Um, if it's not numbers, then you can see index can be very convenient. Then you can just look up the index and you can find the corresponding string, which might be very, very long. Write a statement that prints a result, adding the second and fourth item of the second and fourth item of the list. Um, okay, so this is the first and this is the third, because it started with zero, one, two. So the first and the third, first plus is the third. Plus in strings it means concatenation, means the two phrases will be added together. So I'm going to write something pretty similar. I'm going to say print uh, numbers, that's my variable name. It said it want um, the result of the second and fourth. So it's zero, one, two, three. So one and three. Uh, remember, that's very important. It always starts with um, zero. Um, and this is great. I'm glad I made a mistake because um, Python is all about, uh, it's very important when programming to troubleshoot. You have to read the error message, no matter how boring it is. And you have to um, understand in order to debug. Debugging is a very important process. A lot of engineers spend a considerable amount of time designing the program they're going to write and debugging the problem rather than writing the program. Writing the program actually might be one of the shorter tasks. So it says the fourth item will have an index of three. Yes, so it's saying that. But my mistake is not really here. Well, first is um, because my experience, I immediately know I had extra space here. That is also one of the problems because the format of with 
uh, withdrawing the information by index needs to have the variable's name, this type of brackets, and the corresponding index number. So when I have a space, then actually if I'm using a Python program, not Codecademy, which is a more assistive program, it will give me an error of the some problem there with the syntax. Syntax is the way you write it. And also, there is no such variable number. It will give me that problem too. Number is undefined. The, the variable that's defined is actually numbers. So that's the only way to be correct. Okay. Next exercise. Um, new neighbors. Okay. A list index behaves like any other variable name. It can be used to access as well as assign values. You saw now how to access index like this. Okay, so it gets the value. This is the end of the first one, zero corresponds to one. And you can see how assignment works in line nine uh, line five. So say you're gonna set the third number, zero, one, two, which is the third, the third store to hyena rather than sloth. So you're gonna replace that. Write an assignment that will replace item that currently holds the value tiger. Okay? So we know tiger is zero. One, two, three. So I'm gonna find something that will replace three. Um, it says I can write any animal, so I'm gonna replace it with whale again. Um, what about well, cooler dragon? So again, it reminds you it starts with zero. The count starts with zero, not one. So you're gonna make it. so next section. It's very easy. That was Python. Uh, Python um, listening functions. So I'm going to note it down for easy purpose. Python list and dictionary. Sorry, list and dictionaries. And this is section five. So I'm going to no note it down um, for later. So I'm going to say it here. Um, Python five list. 